Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Louis Vuitton Neo Noe. That is this beautiful bag right here. First of all, can you just take a moment and really appreciate how beautiful, how gorgeous and how feminine this bag is. I mean, I just love the pink against the monogram. I think it's just one of the prettiest combinations when it comes to this bag. I feel like the pink, really brings out the monogram. It makes the bag look really fresh, girly, and just, just super cute. So <laughs> traditionally, I I mean, typically, I like to do, I like to come on here and do like a little unboxing, share my excitement with all of you, show you the bag I got, it, put it on, do some hot shots. But for this particular bag, I feel like, I mean, I love the bag, but I feel like there is some quality issues with it. So I mean, it's, I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit later when I zoom in and everything. I'm going to turn the camera around and just kind of put the bag into highlight and just show you exactly what I mean by that. But before I do that, I'm just going to bring the bag up close so you guys can get a really good look at what the bag looks like. So here it is up close. Like I said, it's in a beautiful pink with monogram. Here's the side. I'm sure you guys noticed that the monograms are not aligned and that's because for neo no ways I, I i feel like none of the neo noise that i've seen i've seen so many videos here on youtube just talking about this bag the most popular one is the monogram and the black trimming i think that bag is really really popular but i feel like next on the list would be this one but like i was saying um the the monograms on here like this bag on the sides is just not aligned i've seen so many videos i've seen so many different bags in the store uh pretty much everywhere none of the um monograms or even damage reviews none of them are aligned on either sides and that's totally normal so if you're looking for a bag that has like if you're looking for a neo Nove that has sides aligned then honestly you're gonna be looking at it forever you're gonna looking for something a bag like that forever but basically here's the side it's not aligned at all here is the back and then same thing on the other side it's not aligned at what aligned either one of them is a little bit better than the other but that's besides the point it's just not aligned here is the top side i think that's where it says made in france and then this is the other side where it says louis vuitton paris so that's basically the bag in the nutshell here is what the inside looks like so as you can see it's two big compartments separated by a middle zippered section the bag also comes with the strap just like that and a lot of videos here on YouTube says that the strap is adjustable, but honestly, it's not. I mean, there's only two settings on this strap. It can be either worn on crossbody just like this, sorry, on the shoulder just like this, or you can change these buttons over here and make it crossbody. But that's it, like just two settings, it's not adjustable. So I turned the camera on so that we can have a good look at the bag. So I believe the problem is here in the glazing. So this is the front part and I guess it's fairly noticeable how it, there's a lot of fraying going around. Otherwise on this side, the glazing is pretty darn smooth, which is good news. I like that. However, it's this side where the glazing is not really that smooth. So as you can notice, this side, there's also some fraying going on, but I believe on this side is where you see a little bit of bubbles. There's a few bubbles over here. And then there's a few other bubbles over here as well. So hopefully the camera picks up. If not, then I will insert some pictures over here so that you guys can get a good look at it but that's basically is the main issue with this bag there's some bubbling and stuff like that just around the glazing part and mind you it's i mean some people might say how it's small and it's not a big deal at this point um and the bags are not going to be perfect etc but i feel like if it is like this at this point it could potentially go even worse later on which is something that i don't want to get into because then I would have to fight with Louis Vuitton trying to either get this bag replaced or have it repaired for free and that is something that I don't think I want to 
engage into. Another thing about this bag is the clasps over here. So one of the clasps is already tarnishing and hopefully it'll be not too bad to show it on the camera, but it's on the inside over here. See? There we go. Okay. So there it is. So this side, it's tarnishing on the inside over here. And then I think the other side is okay. Here is the other side. So the other side is obviously doing a little bit better. It's just this side. And although it's very small, it's not a big deal as some people would say, but I feel like if it's already tarnishing, if I've, I'm already buying a tarnished bag, then it's just kind of, um, it's just the starting of everything tarnishing, if you know what I mean. And I'm already dealing with tarnished hardware on my Speedy. I don't know if you guys are aware or not, but wait for my next video where I talk about wear and tear on my Speedy. But basically, it's my Speedy has tarnished from so many places and it's, it just makes the bag look so much more older than it is. It's only like three to four months old and the bag looks like it's three, four years old. I'll show you guys um, in my next video. But basically, I, I honestly don't like tarnished hardware. It's just, it's not fun. It really is not. And I think it's worse in the straps. So the strap kind of looks okay everywhere else. The glazing is okay. Uh, okay, yep, so it's zooming in now. There we go. So the, the glazing is fine and I'm happy about that. The stitching is fine as well. But the problem is with the clasps. So I will bring the clasps up close. You guys can see. But here they are. So there is some, uh, how do you say this? There's, there's some scratches on it already, which I guess I expect scratches because even when people are trying the bag on in the store, the clasps are constantly like being put on, taken off, stuff like that. So there's gonna be scratches. I get that, that's not the issue, but the issue is with tarnishing. So I'll show you guys. Oh, come on, focus. Okay, there it is. Hopefully it picks up, but if not, then like I said, I will try and insert some pictures, but the clasps is also, they're also tarnishing on the inside. And I think one of them is worse than the other. Here is the second one. So the clasps have also tarnished. So it's not the scratches that I'm very much concerned about. I mean, obviously I'd like to have a bag that's not scratched, but I understand scratches are gonna be there, it's okay. But it's the tarnished hardware that I have a problem with because I don't wanna get into tarnishing hardware. I mean, eventually I know it's gonna tarnish a few years down the road, but if I'm buying a bag and if it's already tarnished, then I don't think it's money worth spent. So yeah, that's pre pretty much the bag in a nutshell. It's a little bit disappointing, especially considering how pretty, how gorgeous and how popular this bag is. I did um, wait quite a bit to get this bag, to be really honest. So it's very disappointing um, and I'll probably end up returning it anyways. But I guess the whole reason why I want to make this video is just kind of reach out to the community and see if there's anybody else out there who has also faced similar type of situation, um, whose bags and uh, the clasps or the hardware has tarnished on this particular bag. If you have it, if you have this bag and if you have tarnished hardware, then please let me know in the comment box down below. I'd very much appreciate that. But otherwise this bag is good. I really like it. The, the little, round circles oh gosh i can't remember the word right now but these are fine they are shiny there's no tarnishing or anything like that they are good 
which is always good to hear but it's just like i think glazing i think i showed you guys but the glazing at the bottom is also fine no issues thank god but it's a tarnish hardware so i feel like with the bags now you have issues with either the glazing or the tarnish hardwares um but yeah that's pretty much it okay sorry guys but i'm filming this part this segment of the video two days after i filmed the other one and i just bought i just saw one more thing which is actually worse than everything else that i just showed you about this bag so uh see like the middle zippered section see how smooth this side the glazing is and then see how smooth it starts off and then there's this little kink in between and then the glazing continues on like do you guys see that all right yeah there it is like see that little kink so that is actually glazing coming off so i'm gonna try my best to show you but it's just gonna be so hard because it's like inside the bag but like it's this part here like that's literally like glazing popped out see hopefully the camera picks up and you guys can see but like i'm trying really hard to show it to you guys but it's literally like a cut inside the glazing which is just a bummer like see there it is and excuse my nails it's just i need to de redo them but that is basically a cut in the glazing and i feel like at this point even if i end up keeping the bag it's just gonna go worse and worse and worse and um cracked glazing is just not fun see you can like just clearly see how this side glazing is just perfect and then this side it starts off perfect and then the middle is just like you know it, it loses its track and then it continues on and then it loses it because it's just it's just detaching itself from the bag so yeah that's just that's just what it is i just want to quickly come on here and show you guys that this bag is made in france i think i did show you guys but i'll show you again so this bag is made in france and still it's having all these glazing issues um and tarnishing issues so um I don't know it's not true that only made in usa bags have issues it's actually bags made anywhere around the world have issues but yeah i just wanted to quickly come on here and show you this because this actually makes me more sad than anything else i showed you about this bag but yeah that really does it for today's video it's probably longer than a little bit longer than what i expected but i just want to really take the time and show you this bag really up close so you guys can have a good look at it but other than that it really does it for today's video i hope to see you in my next video please do consider subscribing to my channel and yeah see you soon guys take care bye